Hello there, my name is David Cater. In this video, we're going to take a look at what's going on in a circuit that contains a, an inductor in AC. So to draw out the circuit, we have an AC source, and that is going to go to an inductor. And what we're going to do is figure out what's the voltage of the source, and what is the current that flows through the inductor. And particularly so, more on what's the timing of the two. So we're going to be looking at the phase shift between voltage and current, and the phase shift is the relationship of uh, when they start and when they stop, the left to right, and we'll see that, we're going to see that uh, are they in phase or are they out of phase with each other, the voltage and the current in an inductive circuit. So I've got my inductor here, okay? So let's take a look at, and see what that looks like. Okay, so we have our voltage in blue and our current in red. All right, so we can see that our voltage is peaking up here. Uh, maybe it's a little more like something like that. There we go. And our current is actually lagging behind, and it is peaking about back here. Okay, so the current is actually lagging the voltage in the inductor. So that means our, our source is hitting max, and after it starts to come down again, we can see the voltage starts to drop. And as a result, um, the current actually starts to increase. So it's really bizarre. So we can see that at zero volts here, our current is actually at max. Well, how does that happen? It's quite a complicated process. But remember, we start to build a magnetic field here. And when it starts to collapse, it actually creates its own EMF. And it can allow current to uh, flow. We don't get, um, or should, should I say, the only source, not, the source isn't the only source. This source here is one of the two sources. The secondary source would be the expanding and contracting magnetic field here around our, our inductor. Okay, so we can say that the current is lagging behind and the voltage is leading in this system. Okay, and the, so therefore we can make the statement that the current is going to lag in the inductive circuit. All right, so just to kind of recap as to why that might occur, if I just draw an inductor down here. When we try to start to push current through here, through the inductor, we get that expanding magnetic field, and what it does is it creates a counter EMF, which tries to push back on the source. And so as voltage, we can see as voltage is rising, our current is actually uh, not rising with it. It's actually going in the opposite direction. As Voltage starts to come down, current starts to rise, and we're seeing the result of a continuously expanding and contracting magnetic field here, and it causes that current to lag, primarily due to this effect of counter EMF produced by the expanding and contracting magnetic field. All right, so I hope you found this interesting, and we can see that uh, the inductor is basically the opposite to the capacitor. Current is lagging in the inductor, current is leading in the capacitor, so they're counterparts to each other. All right, so I hope you enjoy this video, and we'll see you in the next one.